a bullet a we have a bullet here of mass equals to 0 0.0 so this bullet has a mass equals to 0 0.01 kg moving with a velocity equal to what 100 meter per second let call u1 100 hits a bob this is bob of simple pendulum horizontal initially this velocity equals to what it is not moving it is stationary find the maximum angle through which the pendulum will swing first when the bullet get embedded in the so we have first case bullet embedded in bob mass of the pendulum is it given consider the mass of the bob is what one so a is equals to one now finally the bullet get embedded so after impact is your final figure will be something like this we have the pendulum and is the bullet will be inside that is called as embedded so second case the bullet rebounds so is it rebound like this? and third case the bullet escapes so it will go this in first case it is embedded if it is embedded then is the velocity v1 is same as v2 this is just before impact this is just after impact. this is impact before impact and this one is after impact so can we apply law of conservation of moment so what is the law of conservation of momentum m1 u1 plus equals to m1 u1 plus m what is m1 to the value and check your velocity is coming out to is v1 is same as v2 equals to point. so is this height h is same as the velocity of what pendulum so what is the velocity of pendulum pendulum we are taken is it v2 square divided by what 2g and is v2 is same as v v is same as 0 0.99 so find out this value first is it 0 0.0499 so angle equals to theta this length l equals to 1 meter vertical distance is l minus h this one is this is total is l this one is h so this distance is l minus h 1 minus 0 0.0449 and this angle is theta so i write cos theta equals l minus h upon l substitute here and find out theta so theta for this case will come out to be 18.18 in second part bullet rebounds so right bullet rebounds the bullet rebound then will the bullet will go to this side that is rebound it will go to this side and at what speed it rebounds 20 so is this value was taken as negative value is it minus 20 and this value still equals to what v2 agree so due to this one there is a change in calculation on the right hand side and we get a different value of v2 the law of conservation is m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 no change on right hand side only thing that v1 you have to take minus 20 and you can solve for v2 this value will come out to be 1 point is 1.2 then you can calculate the value of capital h so capital h will be come out to be 0 0.073 put this value back in the same figure you can calculate theta and this time theta come out to be 22.8 third time the bullet escapes bullet will escape it will look like this it will hit will pierce and will come to this assume that during piercing no mass has been changed that is our assumption so this one is v1 now this time is v1 is taken as positive plus 20 is it uh, bullet escape so this one is 0 0.01 multiplied by 20 plus you have to apply same law of conservation of momentum again and again check your value equals to 0 0.8 use standard value of h from this one check this value is 0 0.0326 and then we have a standard equation for theta and check this value is 14.67 degree a sphere a we have a sphere a having weight equal to 20 newton so what is the mass of sphere a i will assign this equals to m1 is equal to 20 divided by 9.81 that is kg now this is released from the rest so it is released from this point and we have a block at this point so when it turn through this and will come to this point will it acquire a certain velocity is it a velocity before impact of this body impact will occur at this position or impact will occur at this position the impact will occur at this and right now is the block is stationary and what is the mass of this block m close to what 25 newton 25 divided by what 9.81 initially is this block is stationary and when the pendulum will swing through this is the potential energy has been changed from here to here 
is the potential energy change is same as h equals to 1.4 meter this length is 1.4 meter so when the point will come to here is the potential also changed by 1.4 meter so is the velocity u1 here u1 is it equals to under root of plus value or minus y minus because it is going to the left side so what is u1 it is minus of under root of 2 times g is 9.81 and how much height 1.4 this one is the situation before impact now it strikes when theta equal to what 90 so this theta equal to what 90 coefficient of restriction is how much 0.7 what we want to find out velocity of the spear and block just after impact so we want to find out what is the value of v, the value of v2 and the coefficient of friction and mu is also given 0.2 but there is no need of mu can we apply law of conservation of momentum Right, by law of conservation of momentum, m1 u1 plus m2 equals to m1 v v2. Now, do not put divide by 9.81 because it is cancelled on both sides. m1 is only 20, u1 is minus 5.425, m2 is 25, u2 is 0, m1 is 20 but we don't know v1, m2 is 25 by v2. So, my first equation is 20 v1 plus 25 is equals to. 20 multiplied by 100 something is it minus 108 point let call equation number one apply coefficient of restriction e equals the velocity of separation v2 minus v1 upon velocity of approach u1 minus e is given as 0.75 we don't know v2 neither we know v1 divided by u1 u1 is minus 5.42 and u2 is you can rearrange this equation as minus v1 plus v2 minus 3.25 let call this is equation number 2. So can we solve 1 and 2 simultaneous equation on Kelsey and you will get V1 equals to minus 1.08 and V2 equals to minus 4.33 going to the left. V2 is also 0.6 meter per second. Now this is complete information magnitude and direction. A block A we have a block A is this time 50 Newton has a velocity of what 3. Basically, we have moved the pendulum, this time block is moving. So what is the mass of this body M1? M1 is 50 by 9.81 kg. It is moving with a velocity equals to what? U1. What is the velocity of this block? It is 3 meter per second. When it strikes a 100 Newton ball B, so this is 100 Newton ball B. We will call it M2, 100 divided by 9.81 is initially at rest, U2 equal to 0. Suspended from a cord as shown in figure, the length of cord is what? 2.5. The coefficient of restoration is what? 0.8. Additional data is given as 0.8. Determine the final position of block A. You have to find out where the block A will go and you have to find out maximum and minimum tension. So you have to calculate displacement of A. You have to calculate maximum tension. In addition to this, you have to calculate minimum tension. Now you are familiar what is maximum and what is minimum. Now very first thing is that you first apply law of conversion of momentum, coefficient of restoration and let me know what is the value of V1 and V2. Do if you apply law of conversion of momentum, you can get this 50 V1 plus 100 V2 equal to 150. Now you can apply coefficient of restoration. If you apply coefficient of restoration, you get second equation is minus V1 plus v2 equal to 2.4 what we conclude from the from this one can we conclude from this one that the pendulum will swing to this side so can we able to find out angle theta this is positive value so it will swing to the right side this value of v2 you have to substitute here this value of l is right now what this one is 2 value and find out cos theta cos theta is given by l minus h upon l L minus H divided by L. Substitute everything and find out theta. And check that this theta is 20.99. We want to find out maximum tension. Is the maximum tension will exist at this point? So at this point, if you have a pendulum, at this point we have a pendulum, then is the centrifugal force will exert downward as well as the inertia force will also exert downward. So what is this value? Is it mg? mg is same as w am i correct and is this value is ma but is it an and is the normal acceleration is v square by r is the radius of curvature for this is l 
and is that case this is maximum tension T max so is the maximum tension T max equals to the weight downward that equal to W plus M into V square divided by what R R is called as radius of curvature and the radius of curvature is same as L substitute all values what is W W for pendulum is 100 mass for pendulum 100 divided by 9.81 velocity at that instant is 1.8 1.8 square and the length that is the radius of curvature is 2.5 113.2 equals to what t minimum first of all what i do is that is it w what is the uh, an here at this point is it zero an an is zero and this component here will try to balance the tension so each tension is equal to and this angle equal to what? Is it theta? This is theta. So W cos theta must equal to what? T. So second equation you write down. T minimum. This one is W. This one is T minimum. And this is angle theta. This one is W cos theta. So T minimum equals to W. So we know theta and we know W. W equals to 100 and theta equals to this. Check your value of T minimum. 93.4 Newton. Is the value of block 1. The final velocity is negative. So when the block will go to the right side or the block will go to the left side? Where the block will go? Is this value is negative? We have assigned suffix 1 for block. Is this value is negative? So is this block after impact will go to the left side? So it will start from this side. And it will go to some side here. And will come to rest. Because friction is occurring. Is the block is displaced? To the left side from this point to this point and is this displacement is x is the initially this block has velocity in this direction and is this velocity for this case initial condition is it equals to v1 equals to what 0.6 now shall i use minus sign or plus sign at this point shall i show minus or plus i have shown the direction so shall I show again minus or only plus? Plus. So is this block has a kinetic energy now? Kinetic energy now. And is H1 for this block and this one is H2? Are they same? And is H2 equal to 0 and H1 is also equal to what? 0. Is the potential energy changes or there is no change in potential energy? No change in potential energy. Agree? But is the kinetic energy at this point must equal to zero? Then it will come to the rest. And is it a maximum distance travel then? Which energy it has? Kinetic energy. Because of kinetic energy, the block is moving to the left side. When that energy will vanish, will the block will come to rest? In that case, is it a maximum distance covered? So we have come to what? Law of conservation of energy. But in addition to this, is the weight of the block is acting downward but weight and displacement are they perpendicular quantity so will it contribute in work or will not con normal and x are they perpendicular will it contribute or will not contribute but the body is moving this side and friction is going this side will it contribute is this friction force and x will contribute and is it a negative contribution or positive contribution negative contribution so is the work is done by this no is the work is done by this no but is it a work done by this so is this value equal to mu n mu n is same as mu n what is mu given in the problem is the mu is given or not given not given take mu equals to 0.3 take mu equals to point. what is the weight of this block weight of weight of block is what 50 so is the normal reaction is also 50 normal reaction is also so 0.3 into 50. work energy theorem work energy theorem what is work energy theorem delta kinetic plus delta potential goes to work work this we have just introduced in the starting what is kinetic energy final minus initial so 1 by 2 m i will m1 v1 square minus 1 by 2 m2 v2 square remember 
v1 and v2 with respect to block and what is the v2 now 0 2 is not for pendulum 2 is for block we are applying this work energy only for block plus final potential energy mg h2 initial is mg h1 now it's a turn off work work is due to friction and is this work is negative quantity so this one is minus mu into n and is it displacement is x force multiplied by displacement is work agree now one by one so do you know this quantity so what is this value zero this one is zero this one is zero solve this you will get x mistake here rewrite for rescue delta kinetic is it final minus initial final is what v2 and initial is what v1 square of it correction will get final minus initial minus minus initial now what is first quantity zero second quantity one by two what is the mass of this block is it 50 divided by 9.81 what is the velocity of this block v1 0.6 square of this quantity rest all terms are zero so i will jump to right hand side you can directly write down mu n value is mu n value is 15 15 multiplied by x minus minus sign is cancel can we calculate value of x 0 0.6 meter it means that the block will stop after 6 centimeter 